What's going on everybody? We made it to Vancouver. Spent our first night in the Airbnb here. It's got some crazy views. Place is really, really nice. Today, we are probably just gonna go downtown, discover what we can, probably get a bite to eat. I don't know, just kind of go explore and see what we have. They have these like electric bikes that they got going on all over downtown. So we're definitely gonna try to jump on a few of those, um, see where it takes us. Definitely gonna hit a beach or two. And um, yeah, we'll just see what we can get into. We are currently looking for electric bikes. We've heard you can rent them downtown vans, so we bought the passes. It should help us get around a little bit easier than walking. So right now we're just looking for somewhere hopefully close that we can rent them from. We don't have to go too far. After that, we're probably gonna look to grab a quick bite to eat just so we can go about our day. All right guys, first stop, no bikes, completely empty. So <laughs> we're back on the hunt and uh, hopefully there is another place around here because I really don't want to walk. <laughs> Okay, update guys, so we found more bikes. However, they're not electric and uh, we are not about to try to use manual bikes going up these Vancouver Hills. Um, so we are just on the hunt for, I don't know, something to eat and uh, hopefully we'll make it where we're going by foot. So I officially want to move to the van. Um, I think from here. I don't know why she ever left. This place is so nice. Like, there's so many places to explore and super lively. And I don't know. I just never would have left if I lived here. Uh, we're still on the hunt for breakfast. Hopefully there's something around here soon. And um, hopefully there's a bathroom. I gotta pee. So we found a Jugo Juice. We're probably just gonna stop in for a quick smoothie. That'll be breakfast. Uh, we didn't see anything else that really like was interesting or that wasn't packed full of people. So we're gonna go inside, grab a smoothie, and then we're gonna, I don't know, just go explore some more. Okay, everybody, got our smoothie. We are on the way. Bit of a detour, they wouldn't let Caleb use the washroom, so now we have to find a public washroom for him. That's gonna be an adventure, a little annoyed, but it is what it is. So we found a bathroom. It's uh, in this beautiful park right next to the harbor. And um, yeah, we thought why not just like lay out the blanket and enjoy our smoothies here. We're in David Lamb Park. It's a little bit further away from where we wanted to go. But after this, we'll go check out Cole Harbor and take a look around there. Harbor. Right now we are at Canada Place and just taking in the beautiful views. It is ocean as far as you can see. We are pretty close to the port of Vancouver so we've seen 
seen quite a few ships come in and out of the port as well as small planes take off and helicopters land. It is gorgeous out here and we are soaking up as much sun as we can. just around the corner of the Olympic torch. Pretty touristy spot, but we thought we'd come check it out anyway. Um, should look pretty cool, and uh, I've never seen it before, so yeah, we're gonna go check it out. Made it to the Olympic torch. It's not lit. We're gonna make our way back to Canada Place and check out the Flyover Canada tours. Um, I think it's Iceland right now, so that sounds pretty cool. It's one of Liku's favorite spots. Um, so we're gonna check that out, and then who knows? May call it a day. May keep exploring. We'll see. So we're walking back from the torches back to Canada Place and we stumbled upon this beautiful penthouse from the Fairmont Hotel. We just had to record it to show you guys because I'm amazed. Okay everybody, so we just finished walking around Cold Harbor. We are pretty exhausted considering this isn't the only place we've explored today. So we're gonna take a little break and do the fly over Iceland at Canada Place. I'm pretty excited because Iceland is one of my favorite countries. I've been twice and would go again. So I'm looking forward to this. It'll be a nice break from walking around and I'm pretty sure it's air conditioned. So a little break from the sun never hurts. So we got back to the Airbnb a while ago. We left Cole Harbor, it was so nice to take a look around and re-familiarize myself with my hometown, but we are exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> we did lots today, so we ate dinner, had some amazing Chinese food that we found in Yale Town, and have now settled in and have gotten ready for bed. So we're actually just gonna pass out from here, and we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. See you guys. Good night. Good morning everybody, it is day two in Vancouver and today I'm taking Caleb to one of my favorite spots in the city, Granville Island. It's well known for its beautiful shops, locally owned markets, and good eats. So we're gonna take a look around, do some exploring. We are taking the Aqua Bus there. It's a 15 minute walk and then a five to 10 minute ferry ride. We'll see how Caleb does. He doesn't like small boats, so hopefully it goes well. <laughs> After that, we're gonna go back to the beach and kind of enjoy the sunset, try and catch it tonight. It's supposed to be beautiful from the local beaches here. I'm really excited for the day. We have a lot planned, so let's get going. Bus that we're gonna take to somewhere. Like who knows the name? And um, yeah, it should be interesting. I haven't been on one of these before. This is just like some tiny little bus. There it is. I'll zoom in. Okay, so we just arrived to Granville Island. Now we're gonna go check out the amazing market, take a look around, and hopefully grab something to eat.
cooks in it. Um, yeah, Liga was right to bring me here. We're definitely gonna find some goodies, and uh, um, I'm pretty excited about it. Okay, so we found this, like, Kaisera? I think I'm butchering the name, but they sell my favorite, which is cream cheese smoked salmon on a bagel. So I'm just gonna get the locks. I think it'll be delicious. I mean, you can't really mess that up, and especially in Vancouver, there's so much fresh smoked salmon. And it's pretty popular. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then Caleb's still deciding, they also sell pierogies, so you might eat it. waiting for Lee's Donuts right now. Oh my god, these are so good. I can't wait to show you. Got the goodies. Now we're gonna go find seating. So we found a good spot to sit. Now we're just going to eat our food and probably get on with our day. Okay, these crazy seagulls are everywhere around here and they are so intense that they will knock the food right out your hand. Uh, I mean, just look at this guy. He is not scared whatsoever. It's crazy. We're gonna find a new spot. Okay, so we just finished eating. It was delicious, but we decided not to film any of it because the seagulls are pretty aggressive here. We actually watched two people get their food stolen directly from their hands. So it was rather film us eating or lose our food to the seagulls. So we chose to eat. Everybody, we had a great time at Granville, but we are tired. Our bellies are full. <laughs> we had some bomb food and uh, just had a great time exploring. And uh, now we're just gonna catch the ferry back home to the Airbnb and just relax for the night. I mean, we're both tired. We've been walking around all day, so we'll see you tomorrow. Today, me and Lika, we're going to Stanley Park. We're gonna go walk the seawall. It's also our last day in van, so we're definitely gonna be stopping at every beach that we can along the way, and hopefully we're gonna to catch today's sunset. Let's go. All right, everybody, we made it to the dock. Just gonna wait for the sea bus to pull up, and this should get us closer to Stanley Park.
can see, we've made it to the iconic Inukshuk near the beginning of English Bay. We're continuing our walk down the seawall and on the way to Stanley Park. Okay, so we have now stopped for a quick little pee break. We have noticed in the past few days that we've been extremely dehydrated, just enjoying the sun and forgetting to drink. So we're making note and drinking more, but that also means more breaks. All right, so all that walking, we got hungry. So we're stopping at Fat Burger, just waiting on it now. And after this, we're going right back to the seawall and we're gonna continue to Stanley Park. All right, we are back on the seawall. We finished eating our lunch. We are a little bit behind. We hope to get to Stanley Park before sundown. Um, so we're a little bit behind, but what I think we'll make it Definitely enjoying our day so far. I mean, just look at that view. Okay, so we've made it to Second Beach. We're definitely behind schedule. We were trying to catch Stanley Park at sundown, but you know, we're getting closer and closer, so I'm not too worried about it. We're just gonna take a quick pee break here and then continue on. Okay, we finally made it to Stanley Park. It was a bit of a longer trek than we expected. I definitely forgot that the seawall was a total of 10 kilometers, but we had a great time. It was well worth it. We made some cool stops along the way, stopped at a ton of beaches, and now it is beautiful out. We caught Stanley Park right at golden hour, which is amazing. Um, now we're probably gonna find a comfortable place to sit and relax a little bit while we watch the sunset. Something I definitely forgot about BC is that the raspberry and blackberry bushes actually grow pretty wild here. <laughs> They're so cute. Everyone's been stopping to eat them, but we have been told that unfortunately the city uses pesticides on them because they are considered a weed. So we've made it to Third Beach, as you can tell. It is beautiful out here, and there's still a ton of people out on the beach trying to soak in the last bit of today's rays right before the sunset in about 45 minutes. Okay, so we have left Third Beach area. We are continuing down the seawall. It seems to never end. The tide is slowly coming in, and I'd say we're probably about 40 minutes, 35 minutes away from sunset. We have made it to Lionsgate Bridge. We are just walking around now. Not too much longer to go, hopefully, but honestly, you never know. The sea will never ends. It is beautiful, it is still golden hour, and we are enjoying every minute of it. found the end of the seawall, at least the end of the seawall for us. It does go on for quite a bit longer, but the sun's going down. We're really, really tired, so we're gonna end it here. We're gonna make our way out, um, make our way back to the Airbnb, and... Grab some dinner. Yeah, time get to some eat. food, time <laughs> to eat, and yeah. Uh, yeah, just relax the rest of the night. We thought we were at the end of our seawall adventure. Now we're just walking through the interior of Stanley Park. There is nowhere around here to call an Uber. We could call one, but he'd be coming, or they'd be coming to the middle of nowhere. So now we're walking to the closest parking lot, which seems to be quite far. Both of us exhausted, and uh, it's getting hot and humid. The sun is going down. So we're trying to move as quickly as possible, get back to that Airbnb and crash. We'll keep you posted. Alright, so we finally made it to a place that we can order an Uber. We ordered it, he's on his way, and we can't wait. The 
get back to that Airbnb and relax. We're so sore. My legs are sore. Luke is back sore. And uh, we're ready to call it a night. We successfully got in from Vancouver last night. Obviously sad to leave, but happy to be back home. I do think I can miss Caleb, but we need to move in the near future, so I'm looking forward to that. Once again, thank you to everyone that watched our vlog. We hope that you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed showing you around my hometown. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, our handles are found in the description box below, and we'll catch you on the next one. Show me how to dare to love So tell me what you think